once you've blocked in the general layout, it's time to start talking about color. And for infographics, there's probably two different uh, situations you'll find yourself in. One is I've got a really clearly defined brand, uh, like two different teams or one you know, particular uh, brand that has a distinctive color that everyone knows. Uh, where you're going to want to, you know, sample from some pre-existing, you know, content to stay on brand. And the other is the, I am, you know, dealing with some general topic like golf or mountain biking. And there isn't really a strongly associated uh, specific color that you're going to have to make your own color scheme. So we're actually going to start with that, that second option. Then we'll talk about when the colors have sort of been defined for you. So... If you knew, let's go with that example. Let's say you were gonna make something about golf and you knew you were gonna use a lot of green. You could certainly start with a super custom, you know, uh, color. And if you're not sure, well, what's gonna play nice with that? I, I think I might go with a dark green so I can use white on it, maybe black too. So that, that sort of neutral green, I wouldn't do something that's super intense and hurts everyone's eyes. Uh, so something, you know, kind of a neutral green, okay. But how do I know it's gonna play nice with that? Well, in Illustrator, there's actually a really nice way to create color schemes, and that is found in the color guide. If you don't see this little icon here, like all of our panels, you can go to window and color guide, and voila, there it is. And notice that by default, whatever color I have selected, it ends up here. And what it's doing is it's allowing me to create a color harmony based off of my selected color. So if I wasn't sure what colors might play nice with, you know, the dominant color I'm going to use in most of my infographic, again, let's say it's about golf or, you know, I don't know, lawn mowing, a history of lawn mowers. That could be cool. Uh, okay, so you've got your color and it's showing me different color harmonies. Yeah based off the RYB color wheel, that would go well with it. Now, not all of these might be you know, particularly awesome, but you hopefully can see one where you're like, hey, I could see myself working with that. So maybe I want a couple varieties of green and then I want some warmer colors. So if I like this one, this right complement color harmony, if I wanna use those six colors consistently for my entire infographic, all I have to do is click the Save Color Group button right there and back at the ranch in my swatches panel, check it out. At the bottom, I now have that color harmony and I can have a really nice consistency of color across the board. Okay, so that's a really fast and, and helpful way to create a good color scheme for your infographic. Now at other times, you might have a brand with a very specific color. Um, so let's say it's the Warriors and you wanna stay on brand. Like let's say we want both the gold and the blue. All right, this also brings up the issue of global colors. So we'll talk about both of these concepts at the same time. So if I wanted to make sure uh, that I was using the exact blue used by the Warriors here, all I did was copy and paste this from uh, Wikipedia uh, to get the official logo. And what I can do is I can eye drop it. With the eyedropper, uh, keyboard shortcut I, if I click that, you can see that, aha, that exact color is right here in my swatches. And if I go down here and say, I want a new swatch, it's gonna ask me some really important questions like, do you want this to be a global color? That's the biggie. Uh, it's also giving me the RGB values and all the other things here. The big thing here though is, you want to name it. So this would be, you know, Warriors Blue or Steph Blue. Let's call it Steph Blue because we're making an infographic about Steph. All right. And when I hit OK, all right, uh, it looks like I've done this once before. So we'll call this Warriors Blue. There we go. So I now have Warriors Blue. And you can see that it's added a little triangle to the bottom of that tab. Okay, that means it's a global color. So what does that mean? Okay, if I were to select, uh, well, let's just go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go ahead and select that blue. 
and make a whole bunch of content in that blue. So let's say I just, you know, add a whole bunch of anything that's that blue. Well, if I later decided, hmm, I think it's a little purple. I want it to be more of the saturated blue that I kind of think of sometimes with the warriors. You can double click on the color and change it, yeah, to a much more intense blue maybe. And when I hit okay, it's gonna apply it to every instance of that blue. So in this way, you can actually manage your colors a lot more quickly and easily. Now, I will point out that certain brands have very intense colors. So while I like this as a color for getting attention and maybe it looks good on a uniform, if I had like an entire screen filled with that intense red, that might be a little much. So don't be afraid to come up with your color scheme that you feel is maybe more uh, easily viewed than you know might be the exact you know on brand color. Um, so in this case, what I've done already is I've created a set of colors that I think is you know pretty well defines the warriors and the bulls. Again, all I've done there is you know made a red and then made sure that it had global color turned on, and I call this one Jordan Red. If I wanted that red to be maybe a little less intense. I could maybe make it a little darker or I could pump up, you know, a little bit of the blue and maybe a little bit of the green. Yeah. And when I preview it, you can see that everywhere that color has been changed, it's being applied to all instances of that. Um, in this case, you know, maybe I want it to be more like that and I'll hit OK. So essentially, this is a really fast and easy way to define a color scheme and make them globally editable in Illustrator, saving you a lot of time and making for a much better looking infographic.